scholars, I'm Miss Levesay from Athenaeum Scottsdale, and I have a very important question for you. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Do you recognize that phrase? Or how about this one? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, how many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? <laughs> These are both examples of tongue twisters. A tongue twister is a sentence or sentences that are hard to say. This is because they have repeating words, such as how much wood could a woodchuck chuck, or they have a repeating letter, such as Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. In a normal sentence, it's unusual to have repeating words or letters. That's what makes tongue twisters so hard to say, because they're unusual. Many tongue twisters use alliteration to produce fun phrases that provide a challenge and make us laugh. <laughs> alliteration is the use of repeated sounds at the beginning of a word, like pickled peppers, that P sound is the repeating sound all throughout the tongue twister. Most tongue twisters use alliteration to create silly sentences, phrases, or rhymes, but some twi tongue twisters use repeating sounds in the middle of the word, or they use sounds that are so different that they're hard to say together. Like this one, what if I asked you to say toy boat? Pretty simple, right? Go ahead, say it. I'll show you how. Toy boat. But what if I asked you to say it 10 times in a row as fast as you can and without stuttering or mispronouncing any of the words? Toy boat, 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 toy boat. <laughs> it's not so easy, right? So let's have a little bit of fun with some tongue twisters. Try this one. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Did you try it? Can you say it? three times fast? What about five times fast? <clears throat> Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Sally sold se seashells by the seashore. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Actors and actresses like to say tongue twisters before they perform because tongue twisters actually stretch out the mouth so they're ready to give a clear speech. This is similar to how athletes stretch their muscles before they perform. One popular mouth stretch that actors and actresses use is the simple phrase, unique New York. Practice that one with me. Unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. It's kind of fun, isn't it? You can practice these fun twisters at home with your family and see who can go the longest without making any mistakes. And now that you know what a tongue twister is, you can even write your own. You should write a few for me and then post them in the comments so that I can try them at home as well. Before we say goodbye for now, here is a fun tongue-twisting poem. This one's a little hard. I'm gonna have to read it. <clears throat> Betty Botter had some butter, but she said this butter's bitter. If I bake this bitter butter, it would make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter, that would make my batter better. So she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter, and she baked it in her batter, and the batter was not bitter, so twas better bit Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. <laughs> that one always gets me to laugh. Or this one. This one I think is kind of cute. A tree toad loved a she toad who lived up in a tree. He was a two toed tree toad, but a three toed toad was she. The two toed tree toad tried to win the three toed she toad's heart. For the two toed tree toad loved the ground that the three toed tree toad trod. But the two toed tree toad tried in vain. He couldn't please her whim. From her tree-toed bower, with her three-toed power, the she-toed vetoed him. <laughs> uh, I bet you could find lots more tongue twisters and make some of your own. I can't wait to read them. Until next time, this is Miss Levisay from Athenaeum Scottsdale signing off. Bye!